Okay, hello everybody. My name is Ryan Finch, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial for Splo Sploder, 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 Sploder. <laughs> it's a free uh, site where you can make games, a lot of different games. It could be retro, it could be platform, it could be arcade, it could be um, algorithms, and all kinds of different games, you name it. Um, but today, I'm going to show you how to add um, ground and ground types. This is a tutorial for placing ground and ground types. Okay. Um, for the um, arcade creator, see, as you can see here, there's platform creator, physics creator, graphics creator, classic creator, and 3D adventure creator. But today, we're just going to focus on arcade creator and placing ground and ground types. Um, I just set up a new entire um, game, so we're starting completely fresh here. Um, here's the little character you'll be playing as. You can play as like there's like they have like three different skins. As of right now, um, you can't play as anything other except these three specific skins that this game offers you. But like if you choose a different game, they offer multiple. You can edit the player character, but in this game, you can't really do that. But anyway, that's not the point of this uh, video. This point of the video is for. Um, placing ground types and just ground in general so basically um, you just go over here and put and click on this little like tetris like button right here click it and there's already the ground is right here the ground type and there's different there's different uh, skins for the ground different uh, textures they have like five i want to say yeah five uh five textures for the ground type all you have to do is click one and then um, click off screen, and then just click on random place, a random place where you want your care, where you want the ground to be, and you can increase it, decrease it, increase it, decrease it, make it go diagonal or straight down, or increase and decrease. But like for example, like see how I did this. Um, if you don't like it, you can simply click on the eraser button, which is this little icon right here. And you can just go over the selected area, and you can flatten it, um, or just make it go away completely, and just start over fresh if you want to. And um, what's great about this particular um, arcade creator um, for platforming is that um, as long as the character has something to stand on, you can pretty much use anything. You can even use grass if you want, types of grass for the character to stand on. Or you can use, you can have like a game where your character slow, uh, just uh, in general, just jumping from vines to vines. Or um, you can use liquid, um, and there's different types of liquid. There's water, there's like green toxic water, and there's lava. You can make it that so the lava is bad and your character dies. But if in this case, we're going to use liquid, and you can pretty much just click the liquid and then just place it anywhere right here, and your character will be able to swim as long as you're pressing jump. And your character will keep on going until they fall off into the abyss. Um, but for this particular game, pretty much as soon as your character is completely off screen, like, see this area? This would be the finish area right here. And you would complete the level for this particular game type. Um, however, um, there has to be something your character can stand on. If there's nothing, your character is just going to straight fall down and die and it's game over. It'll just keep doing that unless you have a specific land type, and like you can you can use just ground in general. You can use w water, or you can use like any other thing as long as your character has something to stand on. You can even just make it straight out platforms all the way through if you wanted to, like this, um, or you can make it just mushrooms. Anybody like Mario? Well, you can make it just pure mushroom areas. Like you could just do. And your character would land on that, and then as long as your character has something to stand on, you're fine. Um, in particular, since this is a platform game, you want to want to make it towards that kind of area. But it's your choice if you want to make it like hell for the uh, player um, or a real challenge. You can make it so like there's uh, very little to stand on for the character. Like I I can just erase this, erase that. And so the character will only be able to stand on this, and we'll have to figure out a way to jump from here to here. Um, and that's pretty much it. As long as your character has something to stand on, you can use any of these set backgrounds and scenery. Your character will just 
it, it, it won't exist, so they'll just fall right through. Your carrot um, and ouchy plants, yeah, you don't want to use those. Unless you want to troll the player. Um, but, um, yeah, pretty much you can use uh, grass, you can use ground, you can use vines, you can use liquid, uh, you can use mushrooms, and you can just put a whole bunch of water spouts so they go off continuously, keeping your character up in the air. You can use different types of blocks like slam sand blocks, like they break over time. Or you can use, uh, like I like to think of these, like steel blocks or crystal blocks. Or you could just use platforms, springing platforms, which bounce. And you can use barriers that go up and down. Um, and the character will land on it, and it'll just go up and down. And that's pretty much it, as long as you have something for the characters to stand on. I even think you can even use um, the enemy type, such as helmet, because as long as the character lands on this particular character bad guy's head, they'll be able to bounce up, up and down, over and over and over, until there's nothing there. So you can even use an enemy as a platform, or as a ground type, if you really want to get creative. And that is pretty much it, but I'll show you an example um, of how it works so we'll just click on the play test and I hopefully this was a uh, tutorial video was helpful to you and I hope to see some creative games maybe made in the future by you guys and using this um, arcade type. It's called Arcade Creator and the website's called Sploder. Um, thank you for your time.